Matt Lenehan Boxing Social in association with Forge Irish Stout Empire Fight Store Freebets.com. We're here, Mark Chamberlain, Mark, emphatic victory over Gavin Gwynn. Um, couldn't really gone much better. You mentioned there you were just getting into your stride when it got stopped, but how does it feel? Big performance, big stage, and a belt around your waist. Yeah, it was good. Um, obviously, huge, huge platform, um, the world watching. So I knew I had to turn up tonight and make a statement, uh, take my hat off to Gavin. He's a true champion. He's won a lot, uh, British, European, Commonwealth champion. He's been in there with some good names. Um, like I just said to someone else, the last punch he was in with was a few years back was James Tennyson. He stopped him in six. I stopped him in four. So I, I believe I've proved where I'm at. Um, I want to be in these big fights and I want to be back out here very soon. Um, and I hope I've made His Excellency happy because he picked me specifically to be out here so I knew I had it all to do tonight I was going to come on to that later on but we'll come on to it now you know when you've got that, that added pressure what was that going into the ring like knowing that you know his excellency you know has picked you to be on the card you know what, what was that was that a bit of extra added pressure on top of it to make sure you do perform definitely I, I just take things in my stride and don't let pressure get to me because if it does it can sometimes take over your emotions and then you just fold I guess but I just try and blank that out, um, crack on. I knew deep down there was a lot of pressure there because obviously I've never had this much support going into a fight and this is my biggest fight of my career. Um, so yeah, uh, His Excellency, if you do manage to see this interview, That's massive so thank you for uh, getting me out here and I hope I made you happy. Just a little bit about um, the shot that obviously almost closed his eye originally. Um, do you know when the fight gets stopped like that, you feel like you're getting your flow, although you just get stopped, are you like almost a bit like, you know what, I had a, a little bit more I wanted to show you. How much more have we got left to see of you, your, your arsenal, your skill set? Definitely, I'm, I'm getting better and I'm growing with every fight. Um, no doubt Gavin, being the true champion he is, he would have carried on to the final bell, but I truly believe he would have got hurt. Um, but yeah, just got to keep believing, keep winning, training hard, putting the work in and just keep pushing on. Is this where it is now for you? You have to be on this type of show now. Um, obviously, domestically, it's, you know, it's, it's not like this, is it? And now you've had a taste for it. How keen are you to continue this and get back on these cards in the next couple of months? It was pivotal for you now at this point in your career that you capitalise on your momentum. Definitely, this, this platform here is massive. Like you, you're not going to get bigger than Saudi Arabia. The, the man who saved boxing, he's, these events out here, to anyone that hasn't been, I'd advise you to get a ticket, get on a plane, and if you're a boxing fan, and get out here, because it's just something else. You won't get this back in England, that's for sure. When do you want to be out next? Just speaking to Frank, um, I'm going to go home, I'm enjoy some family time, I'm going on holiday next week. I've told him I'll be ready for June, July, so... Who knows, I'd love to be back out here in the summer. And last one for me, you got a message to your fans, the people at home who were supporting you, um, getting behind you, sponsors and everyone who's on your back on your journey. Yeah, a massive thank you to everyone at home uh, for the messages. I will get back to you all over the next day or so. Uh, most importantly, my sponsors. And yeah, I mean, I just can't thank you all enough. Mark, I appreciate your time. Thank you.